Hi guys, it's been so long since I've made a video or spoken with you guys and it's because I have had many changes in my life. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I really wish that my job could be making videos interesting videos and posting them on YouTube and teaching people what I know because that's really what I get the most enjoyment out of a job like I wish that was my career to teach and make videos because those are the two my two favorite things makeup hair and making videos but unfortunately, um, I can't do that right now because I have another exciting venture that I'm actually trying to get kicked off and started because um, I've put my heart and soul into it. And this is my, my, um, my website. So... About seven months, let's see, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, six months ago, almost, almost six months ago, I invested some money into a business. Um, my mom had given me some money to invest into a hair salon, and unfortunately, that really didn't kick off. I have a little studio in my mom's basement where I redecorated and I do hair there, but I'm not as busy as I wish I was. And partly that's okay because in September I got into, where's my light? In September I got into a car accident and my, I messed up my back. So when I do hair, my back actually hurts a lot. So um, I can't really do a lot of hair at once because my back can't handle it. So that in itself kind of... <clears throat> so I guess that's okay that, that the hair salon didn't come out. But um, <clears throat> one of my friends here on YouTube... A very sweet person her name is Sherry and she has a YouTube channel and I'll put the link right here um, Sherry she actually emailed me this information on this business of working from home so I contacted them and I invested into a online business so this is a website that I created on my own and I'm still tweaking it and making things, you know. Um, I designed it and I've been, I did all the work that goes into it. I have people that help me because of course I've never done this before. So I have people that are helping me and teaching me which is great. Um, so I put a lot of money into that from what my mom let me borrow and it's kind of difficult because it's the website's been open for like a month, maybe a month and a half and I haven't really gotten any people, you know. And I all I work, I work 24-7 on the website and doing things for the website and now I'm just like I'm working so hard that I want I need to live also so I need to make money so I'm really excited about that and it's a makeup and hair website where you can um, go and I'll give you advice I post videos um, make tutorials I have products. I'm adding products there every day. Hair and makeup and skin and all that. I'm adding products there um, each day because I pay attention to, you know, 
what products are in right now and you know everything I'm, I'm doing a lot of research so that um, so that it's a very knowledgeable site and um, I have products there that you know that are current and you know so I'm trying really hard and right now I'm in the advertising stage and of course I'm, like I said I'm adding new products there each day paying close attention to what um, you know the beauty gurus on YouTube are using what the famous people are using and different things like that so I'm hoping and I know everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna work out so I'm just waiting for that to kick in and of course it's MissSandyCandy.com and you guys should check it out if you haven't I'm going to have a contest because I really want to thank you guys for always being there for me and listening to me and I want to repay you guys for being so kind uh, I just have to think of a way of how I'm going to do it um, the other thing is it slipped my brain but Oh, so that's been going on. I've been really excited about that and about my videography school. That, I don't know if I've made a video about this. I don't think I have, but I'm going to have to put that on hold right now because it the place in D.C. didn't work out and it had nothing to do with them. It had to do with me. Um... I couldn't really go in as often as I would like due to my son and not having um, like a, a real babysitter plus he's like connected to me at the hip and he either likes to be jeez Louise he either likes to be with me or his dad so, and his dad can't always watch him, and of course, so he's with me all the time. Even when I have clients at my mom's, at my studio, he comes with me. So he's always pretty much with me. But he's going to be starting school in September, so then I guess I can look for like a daytime job. So, I'm kind of in a stage right now where I am I wouldn't say depressed but that mid stage when see I've been in a relationship with someone on and off since I was 19 years old and I'm 37 so that was a good you know 18 years of my life and we are definitely broken up for good this time and it's just, I don't know how to explain it without getting upset because when it comes down to my kids, they, They are number one to me, and when you mess with my kids, it just hurts me. So it's really hard. For my, my little boy, my little guy, he just turned five, and I was trying to explain to him today that his dad and I are, are not, you know, going to be together anymore, and 
he just didn't even want to hear it. He was like trying to change the subject and um, noticing that he's doing it. Change, he tried to change the subject and I'm like, do you, does it make you feel uncomfortable? And you can just, I can read him very well, so it was making him really uncomfortable. And so, my older son, he plays, you know, like a, like nothing phases him, but I know by his actions and how he's doing in school that it's, it's affecting him. And I'm a child of divorce. My parents got divorced when I was six, but my parents' divorce was a different, because when, when my parents got divorced, I was actually happy because they fought so much and it would mean that there would be no more fighting. And that's exactly why I, me and their dad, we just stopped because all it was was fighting and my poor kids, they don't deserve that. So when we broke up, when my older son was seven, um, when we broken up on and off, but when my son was about seven, uh, we had broken up and he took my son to Jamaica because it was his older daughter, she was getting married there, and he was like, um, he's gonna, Cameron is gonna sleep with me, we're gonna be in the same hotel room, don't worry because his ex was going to be there also, you know, don't worry, um, it's just going to be me and Cameron, and so I felt uneasy, but before they had left, we had gotten back together, and so I, I trusted him, you know, and I trusted him the whole time, I didn't know that he was such a liar, and everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie, so... I trusted him. Come to find out, a couple years have gone by, and I always had a feeling that, of course, they didn't share him. I always had a feeling that he was really with his ex-wife's room, hotel room, and I kind of tricked my son a couple years later, and I was like, you know, Daddy told me that you guys weren't, didn't share rooms. I know he shared rooms with blah, blah, blah. And my son was like, how did you know? And I was like, wow, because I was really just tricking him. And I had just found out that this whole time, my poor little son was made to cover up something so big and so terrible. And I'm thinking, how did his dad get him to cover that up, you know? How? That's just so terrible. So, of course, we got into another fight and we broke up again. And that just really hurt me so bad. Like, it hurt me really bad. And another time that we had broken up, he was with these other girls. And he had introduced my son to these other girls. And that was wrong, too. It was like... He's just, and now my son, my older son, you know, that's not cool. You know, you don't introduce your kids to the people that you are with. Not until you're sure that you're with them and that you're going to get married or you're married because you're just messing with their brains. So now my poor little son's having all these problems. And the dad's blaming it on me after I've tried my hardest you know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm sure it has to do with me too, but at least I don't make him lie, and I spoke with my son, and 
uh, I'm not even going to go into that, but there's like so much more things that upset me. So I asked, his dad was picking up my kids today. I begged him in a text, please, please don't introduce him to other women, too, because my little boy, okay, my flash got messed up on my phone, because now you can't see me at all, can you? I'll get a little bit closer. So anyways, I begged him, please, please do not introduce him to other girls because he actually thinks that that you still love me and that I still love you. What you do on your own time, I don't care. You can be with whoever you want. But when it comes down to him, please be sensitive and please don't introduce him to more women. Please. Because I was, like I said, I was trying to talk to him about us not being together and it was really difficult for him. And come to find out he had been with another woman he took the other woman with them to wherever they went she was at the house after I begged him to please not do that he did that to me not to me to my kid to my four five-year-old he just turned five you know that really hurt my feelings so badly and when I asked him, why did you do that after I begged you and tried to explain to you, please be sensitive. Please, don't do what you did to the first son, to the, to the next son. And you know what he says? I have to live my life. Goodbye. Click. Because he's so selfish. I've never met anyone more selfish. It's ridiculous. I, I cannot believe that he's so selfish. He cares more about himself than his son's feelings. That was like so hurtful. Not to mention he's verbally abusive towards me. He's so verbally abusive. It's like sickening, sickening. So anyways, I guess I just wanted to vent. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's TMI, but I need to talk to you guys. I need to talk to my friends. I haven't been on here in so long. I just needed to talk to you guys. Oh, one very important thing. I really apologize if I don't get right back to you after you comment. I always respond to comments. It might be a week later. It might be a month later, but I always respond to comments because I'm very grateful that you guys comment take the time to comment so I just wanted to apologize that I do take a long time and the other thing is if I haven't commented it's not because of me it's because for some reason YouTube doesn't give me all my comments so when I see a comment I'll go back to that video and comment and then I'll look below to make sure that I haven't missed anybody and sometimes there's been comments there for months and YouTube did not inform me that that comment was there so I apologize for that but it's working again okay so thank you so much for watching guys and thank you for always being there <sighs> today wasn't a good day emotionally so I'm sorry if I'm being a putting a damper on your day but Thank you once again, you guys. I appreciate all your support, and I will talk to you guys later. I have some really awesome videos coming up soon. Please check out my Miss Sandy Candy website. It's MissSandyCandy.com, and it's Miss Sandy Candy on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.